In the previous demonstration on interfaces, I showed how we can write an interface called iEngine and then implement it across multiple classes to drive consistency and build that code contract into our code. That way, as we code, if we forget something, we'll actually get IntelliSense to help us out there. And as we compile, if we forgot something, the compiler just simply won't generate the JavaScript code. Well, in this demonstration, I'm going to show how we can, again, define interfaces, but also extend interfaces. And we're going to be using these interfaces to write more clean code. Now, let me explain what I mean there by clean code. Right now, if we come down to the auto class, you'll see that we have base price and engine and make and model and state and year and all these different parameters. And it gets even worse down in truck because truck adds bed length and 4 by 4 so it now has eight parameters that you must pass. Now there's nothing wrong with that per se, but as a user of this, I have to make sure that I pass the parameters in the proper order, and that can get a little bit tricky, plus it's just a little messy from a coding standpoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to allow an object to be passed into the constructors that implements a specific interface. Now, the first one I'm going to do, we'll come back up top here, and I'm going to call it iAuto Options. And I have one ready. I'm just going to drag in. And you'll notice it has the six members that the constructor currently accepts for auto. So we have base price, engine, state, make, model, and year. Now, if we come back down to auto, you'll see the same exact members here, and that's where those members are assigned to the fields or properties. Now, what I'm going to do is really clean this up, though. We're going to say you can pass me in the auto options, and this is going to be of type I auto options. So in this particular example, I auto options is not explicitly implemented on any class that I'm going to write, but you're, see, you're going to see how it's used in a moment. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to take the options here, and whatever object you pass in will now have these different members. So I'm going to cut and paste this real quick. So now we have one single object that can be passed in, which is really going to clean this up for us. Now I could even store, if I wanted to get rid of these fields up here, the options objects. So we could say options, I auto options if I wanted, and then completely eliminate these guys. And then right here, all we'd have to do is say this.options equals the options. But I'm going to go ahead and break out each of these different properties and fields into each individual one because when I new up an auto, in order to get to those values, if I do it this way, I'd have to say auto.options.engine or state or year or whatever it is. Nothing wrong with that per se, but I'm going to leave it as is so that you just say auto.state or auto.engine as an example. Okay, now that's really going to clean it up. But I also need uh, the truck down here to be cleaned up as well. And you can see it's really long. So I'm going to do the same type of thing, but we're going to have a problem. Now, for the super call, the interface has those members, and it accepts an I auto option. So we can just pass options, and that'll take care of fixing that. But now we're missing these two. All right, now I could certainly go back up into the interface and add them, but not every auto has a bed length and things. So instead, what I'm going to do is define a new interface that's going to extend iAuto options. So we'll come in and we'll say interface. We'll call this iTruckOptions, and it's going to extend iAuto options. Now it's just going to have our two members in it. So we'll have bed length which is a string, and we'll have 4x4 for off-road capabilities. And that's going to be a Boolean. All right, so now what I can do is come down into my truck constructor, and instead of passing me an I auto options, I want you to pass me an I truck options. So we'll go ahead and put that in. All right, so the I truck options will now have what we need. So now we can simply say options.bed length and options dot four by four. And we're ready to go there. So you can see how much cleaner this is. Now it may not be evident why it's cleaner other than there's just one parameter, but we'll see that down right here as we actually new up this truck. So that's our first getting started with extending the interface. Now, again, I'm not actually using the interface on a class per se, explicitly doing it. 
Instead, I'm doing it kind of behind the scenes, you'll see in a moment. All right, so if we come back down, now what I can do, let's go ahead and get rid of what we had here and comment this back in. And I'm gonna change this to a truck. And then you'll see that we'll get an error. Now, here's what's really nice about this. I can now pass what looks like in JavaScript terms, an object literal. And the object literal now allows me to name my parameters. So now I don't have a problem with parameters getting out of order. I can't really simplify the amount of data that's passed because I want all of this data to be passed in when you new up the truck. But I can make it easier to pass the data so you don't get things out of order and such. And we're doing that here with this object literal. Now, because this guy implements iAuto options, it would be fine if this was an auto. So if we change this to auto, the red should go away and we're good to go, you can see. But if it's a truck, the i truck options that we pass in here has these two extra guys, bed length and four by four. And so you can see we get an error and it's showing us that we're missing some things. So we'll go ahead and fix that and we'll add our bed length and we'll add our four by four. We'll just say it is off-road capable, four by four. We're ready to go. And you can see it works from there. We can now do an alert on truck dot, and we could do, for instance, four by four. Notice I can get right to it. Or let's go to just write out the bed length here. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And there we go. You can see it worked. And now we've really cleaned up our constructor and allowed what is kind of a standard procedure that a lot of things out there follow, whether it's jQuery plugins or others, where instead of passing an uh, enormous number of parameters like we had before, we had eight on truck, we now pass one as an object literal, but it just so happens in TypeScript, this object implements the I truck options, and then we can get to the options to get to the actual data. Now it's a lot cleaner. I think this is easier to read because we are very explicit about the parameters that we're passing because we named them. So that's an example of how we can extend interfaces using the TypeScript language.